Greetings, everyone. My name is Wyatt Shed Stewart, and we're here with a live webinar talking about how you can use Proclaim and Faith Life today. We're going to give a little bit of time for people to stream in, and what we'd like to do is just go through some of the basics of how Proclaim interacts with Faith Life within the app, and then we'll spend some time talking about faithlife.com and how you can get the most benefit out of using that in tandem with Proclaim. Joining me today, we have Jim Stratman, who's going to introduce himself and chat a little bit about his work with Proclaim. Hi, I'm Jim Stratman, uh, Vice President of New Products here at Faith Life, and um, focusing a lot on new ideas that we think are going to be great, um, and uh, introducing them to the customer base and getting feedback on them. So uh, we're really excited to talk about how Faith Life and Proclaim can work together um, to, to strengthen communities within the church. Excellent. So what we're going to go ahead and do is make it so that we're going to be doing lots of screen sharing. We're going to jump into Proclaim, show some of the new audio recording features, particularly because that will help demonstrate where Proclaim and Faith Life intersect. And then we're going to take some time to just answer questions from the audience. As you're joining us, you'll see that there's a Q&A panel on the right-hand side of the program where you're able to type in questions. And as we go through the demonstration and come up on the end of our actual prepared demonstration time, we'll be answering your questions as well. So we look forward to hearing and seeing any questions that you all have. Um, now we've got just a couple things in here before we get started, and again, while people filter in. Um, so what I'm going to do is jump right into the program, and we're going to just start going through some of the basics of how Faith Life interacts with Proclaim. Now a quick overview for anyone who is here who's new to either of those terms. Proclaim is our presentation software. That's what we'll be using here today. And faithlife.com is the website where a lot of our Proclaim kind of back-end management for interacting with your team members, sending messages, etc., all happens. So that's a very simplified overview, but we're going to jump in and show some of that in action. So right now, we're going to jump right into Proclaim. We're going to do a lot of screen sharing here today. And from here within the program, I want to explain a few of the things that you're seeing. This is what the program looks like when you first open it up. And the first thing you'll see actually on the right-hand side of the program is what we call the Faith Life Panel. The Faith Life Panel exists so that you can invite new members to join your presentation team. That can be the person who's bringing in slides, person who's bringing in the worship arrangement, the sermon notes, volunteers who are coordinating the actual use on a Sunday or a Wednesday or whenever your services are happening. And as you invite members into the program, you're able to then communicate with them, um, sending up posts about things that are upcoming that you might be wanting to focus on, making sure that you have eyes on all the new updates and elements of the presentations that are coming up. And you can also send direct messages to your team if you have questions or you want to just grab coffee or something like that. Now, one of the things I want to go ahead and do is show you what happens when you actually click to invite a member, because that will be one of our first introductions to faithlife.com. When I want to invite somebody new to my Proclaim presentation team, I can do so by clicking Invite Member here within the Faith Life panel. And when I click that option, it takes me out to faithlife.com. So this is our first introduction to faithlife.com. And from here, I'm able to invite someone to join my group. I can just type in the email such as Jim Stratman, and send him an invitation to join my group. Once I send them at him that invitation, he has the advantage of receiving an email where he can see everything he needs to download Proclaim, sign into the program, and join my group automatically so he can start collaborating with me. Now that we've seen how this interaction happens here within the Faith Life panel, Let's chat a little bit more about other ways you can invite members into your group within Proclaim and some of the other places where Proclaim interacts with faithlife.com. To go ahead and show some of the basic interaction there, I'd like to open up the account drop-down menu, which is here in the upper right of the program. When I open up the account drop-down menu, you'll see that we have the ability to purchase licenses and do all sorts of account management. But here in the center tab, we'll see that we have some group information. The first information you'll see here is the presentation group, which lists the presentation group you're currently a part of. Presentation groups are actually Faith Life groups. They're just groups that are created in such a way that you need an invitation to join them. That allows for you to keep control of who's on your presentation team and affecting and changing your presentations for Sundays. From here, I can also invite members. And if I happen to be part of multiple groups, I can change the group that I'm a part of by clicking the Change Group option. You'll see that below the presentation group, we have a new option for you to view a church group within Proclaim. We're going to get to what that is for in a moment, but in case you've never set up a church group, I'm actually going to go through the process of taking away any affiliation I have, so that for now, the program believes that I just have a presentation group and no church group. That'll help explain how I can go through the process of creating one in just a little bit here. But you'll see that you can set them and interact with them here within the program. For now, I want to open up a presentation 
And as I open a presentation, I'm just going to click one of the Thanksgiving presentations that we currently have. And I want to set up audio recording within Proclaim. And the reason I want to set up audio recording is because when you, when you do audio recording within the program, you're going to see that very much begin to interact with and give you inroads into using Faith Life, not only for your presentation team, but also for your church and your ministry as well. So I'm going to quickly set up audio recording. And for those of you who haven't seen this yet, you can do that by choosing the Add Item option and then adding in a Start Recording queue and a Stop Recording queue. I'm going to add in one of each of those. And currently those are up in the warm-up part of my service, but I want to drag these down into the main part of my service. I'm going to go ahead and put the Start queue right before my sermon title. I'm going to put the Stop queue right after the outline of my sermon notes. And once I've done that, I'm ready to go on air and see my service recording in action. First, I'm just going to go up to settings really quick and make sure that my audio levels are where I want them to be. Everything looks good. So let me go ahead and go on air really quick here from within my sermon. And while the congregation is seeing the slides live, I want to go ahead and just see that, yes, audio recording is in fact happening. Advance through some of the slides that I have prepared that's within my message including this information here. we got some of the on-screen Bible in action. Always love that tool. And then into my sermon notes, which in our case are just some really simplified notes that we've got. I've got a point one, point two, point three, et cetera. So we're just going through those right here. And now that that's done, you'll see that we've gone through the area where we were doing a recording. It's no longer recording live here in the upper right. And we're going to go off air. Now, the reason I want to demonstrate this is because not only does this show the audio recording feature, but it also shows some of where Proclaim begins to intersect with Faith Life, particularly in regards to publishing my sermon audio recordings. So here in the audio recording page, I now have the ability to view my recording, see all the slides that occurred, and also give description information, anything helpful to the sermon I've recorded. But I'm ready to publish it, and I choose the publish option. Proclaim is going to first notice that I do not currently have a church group set up. Now, that's because I just removed that affiliation, but essentially the way Proclaim works is when you're using a Proclaim presentation team, you've got a group which is for your presentation team to work within. However, because that group is private, it's not the best place to publish anything that you want the rest of your church to be able to easily find. So what we're doing here is allowing you to set up a public church group that will intersect directly with your presentation group so that you, whenever you want to publish a sermon, it will be made publicly available for your church to find, comment on, ask questions about, and otherwise engage with throughout the week. So I'm going to go ahead and set a church group. And you'll see that I have the option of finding a group or creating a church group. Now, if you've never used the program before or set up a group in Faith Life, you'll want to go ahead and create a church group. Because I do have one, I actually want to just find a church group. But I'm going to search for Quiet's Church for Video Presentation Testing. Now, once I've selected that, because I'm an administrator of both groups, they'll immediately connect. If I'm not an administrator and I'm trying to make the connection, it will instead send a request to the administrator so that everything can be finalized. And once I'm finished, I can close. And as you'll see, when we go back to that recording and we go to publish it, it will now be able to go through the publishing steps. And it's going to post this right to my Faith Life group. So while that's taking time to publish, I want to go ahead and just take a minute to welcome anybody who's arrived since we got started. We're going through some of the basics of Proclaim and Faith Life and how those interact together. If you have any questions while we're going through and exploring this, feel free to write those in the Q&A panel. You should see that there on your screens. And we'll be answering your questions as we come through the end of this demonstration. Joining me today, for anyone who's arrived a little later, is Jim Stratman. He works with a lot of our interactions in Proclaim and kind of figuring out how do we make the best products that we can to help serve you and your ministries in the church. Um, we're just wrapping up some of our conversation here in Proclaim, but we're going to go back into screen sharing and show just a little bit more of this before we jump into some of the Q&A. So you'll see that it's still going through the final stages of publishing, and as soon as it's done processing the audio, it's going to throw that up in our Faith Life group, where we're going to be able to view that live within Faith Life, make comments, and essentially treat this as an example sermon that we've just created here within the program. Now it's wrapping up at this time, and what I want to go ahead and do is just jump in to Faith Life, where when I go to my church group, we're going to see the most recent published sermon.
Here we are. You can see that this was posted just a few seconds ago, and if I want, I can play this. My sermon. You'll see that the audio begins to play, and I can view my slides along with my sermon right here in my church group. Now, from within the published window in Proclaim, I have the ability to access that, but I can also invite friends. And similarly to inviting people to join my presentation or my presentation group earlier, I can also invite people to join my church group where they're able to view my sermons. So if you have the email list of the people that are attending your church and have shown an interest in seeing your sermons, you can easily grab those emails and just send them an invite so they can follow along, have conversations, and dive right in. And we can also see here within the publishing window where I can go manage my sermon on soundfaith.com and where I can set up embedding on my website if I want to have my sermon hosted there as well or setting up a podcast for people to listen throughout the week. Now that we've chatted about a lot of this and how we can access it within Proclaim and also over on Faith Life, I want to turn it over to Jim who's going to take a little bit of time explaining some of the benefits that you get from using your Proclaim groups and really diving in with your churches and Faith Life church groups. So we're going to turn over to him. Great. Thanks, Wyatt. Um, yeah, so the point of integrating Proclaim and Faith Life is so that um, we can basically continue sharing the message that you're already sharing on, on Sunday morning or Saturday morning um, or Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever you're getting together to meet and use Proclaim to, to push message. Uh, by publishing that to the Faith Life group, it makes it available the rest of the week, 24 by 7, 365. Uh, so um, why could you real quick uh, put me into screen sharing mode and I'll kind of show them around what Faith Life should be working like. Excellent. Great. So this is Wyatt's um, presentation group here, or pardon me, church group. And <clears throat> first thing to show is he created this church group in Proclaim. And um, when you do that, it sets up what we call a bi-directional affiliation. In other words, the church group is pointing at the Proclaim group, and the Proclaim group is pointing back at the church group as well. So <clears throat> you can see here, here's the Proclaim group. This is where all the members uh, who have the ability to edit and make modifications to the Proclaim group are. But, um, and if you click it, uh, here's what um, the content of what you saw over in the right-hand panel here in Proclaim. So uh, this Faith Life panel right here is the content from Wyatt's Proclaim group. And here is the same content again showing up on Faith Life. So it's the same feed. Now, if I'm, I'm now in the Proclaim group, I can go to the groups and again navigate back to the church group. Here it is. This is where you would invite the congregation, everybody that you would like to notify uh, just after publishing your audio into Faith Life. Uh, they would get an email if they're a member of this group, and they can go back and visit. So this is really handy if someone wasn't able to attend church service and um, wanted to catch up. Uh, we'll also make this stuff available sort of long term. So if they want to go back and, you know, last year's uh, Easter service was wonderful. I'd just really like to watch that again. This is where they can go back and find that. Um, so a couple of little things here. It's, um, it's very similar to a lot of other uh, social platforms that you would encounter. Um, you can add a background image to make this a lot better. So I'm just going to grab this cross sermon art because I think it's great. Um, I can drag and reposition this. Go ahead and hit save. This just makes it a little bit more friendly. Um, to adjust that profile photo, you drill in on your settings. And you can choose another file. I'm going to go ahead and, and choose the same one. It's a little redundant, but kind of gives you the idea of um, what you can do. Crop that image, save the settings. And there we are, uh, Wide's Church for video presentation testing. Um, so anybody can, can make um, additions to this. Uh, let's say you wanted to uh, share Proclaim with the rest of the church just because you thought they'd be interested in it. It's typical, typical kind of social sharing type behavior. Um, but what's other other benefits that come along with this is things like a reading plan. So let's say you wanted the entire church to be working through a reading plan together, let's say 10 days on discipleship. You go ahead and add that here. And now what you've got is ability to publish your presentation um, from worship service, also get everybody uh, reading the Bible together. So this is kind of the point of the broader faith life community is, is more things that you'd like to do. Um, Invitations. So I uh, just want to come back to that again. 
Um, you can actually search for people that are already in the in the system. So, for example, Scott Alexander, uh, who is our, our development lead in Proclaim, I could find him and invite him. But it also works with just general email addresses. So, let's say I know uh, Scott's email address. I can oops, looks like I misclicked something there. Roll back in here. Uh, you can put email addresses in. And you, if you comma separate them, uh, you can do multiple. So uh, you can you can dump your entire uh, church directory into this, and then everybody can be uh, invited into your group to talk. Um, a little bit on security uh, and, and privacy. We allow you to control what can happen in this church group. Um, so if I drill in on settings. Uh, I can add, you know, modify the name. Here's the URL. I can provide a tagline if we have a, a one or two sentence a doctrinal summary. Uh, add contact information so as people discover your church on the web, they can know how to contact you. Um, and drilling in on privacy, you control sort of who has rights to publish. So let's say you have to be a member of the church before you can send a message, invite other people. Um, or, but, you know, I'm going to let observers, otherwise known as anonymous people, anyone can read the news feed. Um, or you know, view the calendar, things like that. So lots of control in the group uh, that you can configure. I'll cancel this page. Uh, um, great. So that's uh, kind of a quick summary of the social features. Uh, again, what we found is is the number one problem that a lot of churches encounter when they introduce a, show, a social network like this is getting people to do stuff. Um, so organically, you know, a lot of people are on the other social networks like Twitter and Facebook, and introdu introducing yet another one can be a little bit of, a bit of a barrier. You have to kind of train the behavior. That's the beautiful part about publishing the sermons here to Faith Life is it sort of puts something there that's worth engaging with. Uh, so if somebody really liked a particular sermon, they can hop on and say why I landed with them. If they had questions about it, they can follow up with that. And we make that really low friction. So this is kind of the, the key engagement component. And then uh, they can do more reading or, you know, talk about what's impacting their life, um, all things relative to the church. So that's kind of a quick introduction. Turn it back over to Wyatt. All right. So again, that's just a big overview of how Proclaim, the presentation software, can interact with FaithLife so that you can have engagement, you can publish your sermons, you can ask questions, and just start conversations in both places. Now, we want to open this up. If there's any questions that you might have, you're welcome to post those here. If this was all super self-explanatory and you're just happy to have new tools, well, then we're excited for you. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just show a couple other elements of things that are happening Within faith or within Proclaim, and how you can interact with Faith Life through those options, and then we'll check back. If there's no questions, we're going to wrap up for the afternoon. But if there are some, then excellent. We'll be happy to ex and excited to answer those. So thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and take a look at those now. So for now, I'm going to jump right back into Proclaim, and from here within the program, I want to just demonstrate a couple of the other places where you're able to set up some engagement points that can help kind of drive traffic back to your Faith Life group and explain how to get people there when they're asking questions as part of the church. So one thing you'll notice in all of our example presentations is that we have helpful media for both your Faith Life accounts and your Facebook account. So if you're trying to set up information on how you can connect people to your church, be it through your church's Facebook URL, or setting up your Faith Life page with a the URL they can easily find, you can do that here. And if you want to find those for your own presentations, you can go into the media browser, go into my content, and just search for Faith Life. That will allow you to easily find some nice imagery that you can find for a slide, which will allow you to enter that information and have it there in your announcements so that you can easily get your church members to see where they can find that. And you can even attach a signal if you'd like so that you're able to send a message directly to their devices when they're using the Faith Life Study Bible app or the Logos Bible app, which will allow them to be able to follow along. So I can take the URL from my Faith Life group and put that right here into my Faith Life screen so that when my church wants to follow along, they'll get a signal taking them right to that page where they've got my sermons most recently posted. And this is just a great way for them to be able to interact with me and find answers to questions there as well. So again, that's some of the basics of how you can use this to help better interact with your teams. Looks like we don't have a lot of questions right now, so we appreciate you all coming here today. And if you have any questions or you'd like to follow up with us, you can reach us at hello at proclaimonline.com. That's H-E-L-L-O 
at ProclaimOnline.com. We're really excited to hear from you. So if this was helpful and you would like to provide some thank you or some feedback on what you liked, please send us an email. If you've got more questions that you want to follow up with later, say you're watching this on our YouTube channel at a later date, feel free to send us a message there again at hello, H-E-L-L-O, at ProclaimOnline.com. We thank you all for being here. You hope you have a great week, and God bless.